YouTube. Today, we're going to open a whole new possibility. A whole new door into our future. We're going to look into the future and go, yes, this is what I want. Okay? We're going to look into the future and we're going to go, yes, this is what I'm going to have. Because I have it now in my imagination. And if I have it in my imagination, it's already here in this reality. Because guess what? Your imagination is a fundamental part to this reality. Einstein said, hey, <laughs> the imagination is very important. That's what he said. And it's true. It is. I know. Do you know? I'm sure you've had some instances in life where you were just like, yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking about something and then something pertaining to what I was just thinking about happened. So I was thinking about, huh, I want to, I want to buy some flowers. And then your husband comes home with some flowers and you're like, what? I was just thinking about that, you know, stuff like that. Or like you're eating popcorn, watching TV, and you're like, yeah, I, I wonder what's on the movies. And then you see a, an ad with a commercial with a bunch of new movies or something. Something like that. You know, it's something simple. That is called a synchronicity. And a synchronicity is where your real life matches up to your thoughts. And this phenomena is only possible because of harmony. Now, in this world, we're always in harmony with our thoughts, our actions, our feelings. They're all in harmony. They're all in sync. And if that's in sync, then the world around it is also in sync in different ways. Because life, you know, can throw a bunch of shit at you. And you're like, wow. Wow, God, why did you do that? Are you even, are you even real? Are you even real, God? You could be like, God, my, my grandpa just died. What do I do? Grandpa's dead. He was taking care of me and now he's dead. What now? What now, God? You know, it'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes God throws shit at you, okay? Sometimes God feels like it's not listening or it's not there or it hates you, okay? But, you know, there's a whole new realm to possibilities with that. It could be because of self-growth. You know, sometimes you need to go through the shithole, okay? I've been there. And I'm going to tell you, I would have never moved to Hawaii with $1,500. No job and nowhere to stay. I went on that plane, no job, nowhere to stay. I had nowhere to go. I went there, everything worked out. I said, okay, I want to kill myself, so I'm going to go to Hawaii before I die. Hopefully it'll all happen because I believe in God. And if God makes me homeless, well, okay. At least I'm in Hawaii. I won't freeze to death. That's what I was thinking. And I came out perfectly fine. And I'm going to tell you guys, I know God's real. Okay? Most people don't do that to test their faith in God. Most people don't move to Hawaii with no job and nowhere to stay. And go, yeah, God will take care of it. Because that's what I did. And guess what? God took care of it. Because God is real. But God works through other people. And you know, this life is, you know, like yin and yang. Okay? There's the good, and there's the bad. Without the good, the bad wouldn't be possible. Because the good's always there. It's going to be like, uh, it's all normal. Now I'm just bored. Okay? Without that, without the perfect harmony with the good and the bad, we wouldn't be grateful. Okay? We wouldn't have love if there wasn't hate. Okay? It's the same thing. Love and hate is in the same circle. It's very passionate, very chaotic, very obsessive. There's lots of similarities, okay? It's just on the opposite end of the spectrum. But it's also like 
you know, without that, without hate, love wouldn't feel so good. And without love, hate wouldn't feel so good. <laughs> Sometimes hate can feel good. I've been there. I'm not going to lie. You know, sometimes you really want to beat some of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I hate that motherfucker. I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> well, you go ahead. But you got to keep in mind, there are consequences to your actions, <laughs> okay? There's consequences to your actions because when you do these things, it affects the world around you. And the world around you can be very evil and angry, okay? You know, as evil and angry as you are inside sometimes, other people feel that way too. So you have to keep in mind, you know, there's, there's not just you who's evil and angry, it's other people. We're gonna open a whole new door today. We're gonna open the door to a new future, okay? You gotta quit telling yourself now I'm just gonna work at Walmart for the rest of my life because well, I don't know what else to do. Oh, even though I hate my job and I hate everyone there, but I'll keep doing it. For what fucking reason? Tell me why. For money? Well, guess what? You can get another job and get money doing that. Now, couldn't you? You could do something else, but you're a fucking pussy. That's right, you're a fucking pussy. You're a cock and balls. <laughs> That's all you are, is a cock and balls. How's that sound? People say pussy, I could say cock and balls. You know? But anyway, you're just a cock and balls, if that's all you want to do. Okay? You're just a little hairy butthole. <laughs> you're just a hairy butthole who doesn't want to have fun. Okay? That's all I see is a hairy ass butthole. Get away from me. Like, I'm not joking. Some people just don't know how to believe in their future or themselves. You gotta look in the mirror, okay? You gotta go, yeah, I could get another job. Look at me, I'm spiffy. I got a cool new shirt. Yeah, I'm ready for my interview. Okay? You can call the jobs right now if you're afraid to not get money and be like, hi, can I have a job? You know? Maybe you'll have an interview on your day off. Just let them know. You know? You want to move, but you're too afraid. I ain't even got nothing to say to you. Moving is scary. But hey, I moved to Hawaii with no job and no place to stay. Right when I got there, I was bawling my eyes out. Yeah, everything worked out. You can watch my video about that if you're interested. But yeah, that story was very insane. And a lot of people are afraid to move. And <laughs> I can see why, but that's why you plan it out. You don't be like me. I learned from that. I learned, but I also learned I didn't like Hawaii that much. <laughs> I like the weather and I like the food. The people are pretty cool, but I don't like, you know, some aspects like the homeless people everywhere. I've never seen so many homeless people in my life and it was just very upsetting. Yeah, they're all old, but I'm gonna tell you guys, if you're scared to move, don't be. This is a sign. If you want to move to New Jersey, New Hampshire, LA, New York, I want to move to New York. The reason why is because the job market, there's so many different kinds of people there. Successful people, successful businesses, you know, you can get a job. You could get a job on Craigslist doing a weird acting gig. I saw a video about that. Do I think it's a plausible thing? No. I don't think it's going to happen for everybody because not everyone wants to do that. But I think you should, you know, 
keep in mind what you want to do in the future. Do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you want to clean pools for a living? <laughs> I don't know what you want to do, but you have to keep in mind your environment affects your success. So in Hawaii, I had a henna tattoo job. Well, I did henna tattoos on people. I talked to this, this business owner and she hired me like a month after I talked to her, which was a lot later than I wanted, but still. And she hired me and I manifested that because that's what I wanted. I was like, yes, I'll get it. And then I did. It took a while, but I did because I'm an artist and I was good at it. And I made a lot of money. I made over $30 an hour. We got commission plus tips, cash tips. Okay. We made a lot of money <laughs> and I don't have a college degree. <laughs> you know, none of that. I'm not a business owner. I'm just a almost, almost homeless. <laughs> I'm just almost homeless making $30 an hour now. The best job I ever had probably was doing henna tattoos in Hawaii. And that wouldn't be possible here in Indiana because one, the tourists. When there's a lot of tourists, you know, there's a lot of money to be made because tourists, <laughs> you know, tourists wanna take pictures with birds. There was this guy that had pet birds who, you know, just had people take pictures with his giant parrots. He, every day he'd stand over there taking pictures and that's all he did. He made lots of money, I'm sure, okay? That's what he did. You know, he just rented a spot probably. That's a lot of money. It's like 2000 a month, something like that. But you make a lot more. The first month you'd be rolling in the cash anyway. <laughs> Fuck, why not? You know? So yeah. I'm going to tell you guys. You got to look at the opportunities before you, you move somewhere. Okay? Just look at the opportunities. There's lots of opportunities in California. And, you know, there's everywhere. Okay? Pretty much. You just have to look. You have to think about what you want, visualize it, imagine it, and don't be afraid to talk to people. That's one thing I had to learn how to do in Hawaii because I was fucking almost homeless for a while. And I'm going to tell you what, I never talked to people so damn much. <laughs> and, you know, I wouldn't have gotten that job doing henna touches if I would have been afraid to talk to people because I was talking to him, this guy at a coffee shop, okay? He was working there and I was like, yeah, I really like your vest. And then it just started from there. And then his wife was over there and then she's like, yeah, that's our business. And I was like, oh, really? And then I started talking to her and she's like, yeah, we own this henna tattoo shop and we also do this. Cause I was asking him if he was hiring because I needed a job. So I didn't get hired for that one. But I did tell her I worked at Starbucks, so she was like, oh, okay. And, but she hired me for the henna tattoo because henna tattooing, I'm an artist, you know, goes hand in hand. And it was just a really fun job. I would do it again, yet I would want to probably own my own if I was going to do that because I had limitations and I didn't like that. So... I mean, it's good money, but it's also like I can make more money. Considering how much money I made in five days, I can only imagine how much money they made in five days. A lot more than I did. And the materials are very cheap. All you need is this Jaguar gel, a refrigerator that's this big to keep it in. And that's about it. And like a fan to keep yourself cooled off. That's all they had. And a book full of designs, you know, a book full of different designs. But I would make my own and I would make them not all Hawaiian because not everybody wants Hawaiian, okay? Some people want like an actual fucking dragon or like a sweet potato with a cute face on it. Who knows, okay? But yeah, you have to open the doors to possibilities, the door cannot open unless you change. If you don't change how you think, 
If you don't change what you do, how the fuck are you supposed to change your future? You're, you're not. You're, you're not going to change now. You're not going to change ever. So change now. Sometimes you're not ready, though. Changing is like being in a cocoon. You're a little caterpillar, okay? You're a little caterpillar, and you're going into a cocoon. Sometimes you stay in that bitch for a long time. A long time. Okay? A long time. Sometimes years. Sometimes ten years. <laughs> you know? But if you're tired of your life, get a new one. Do something with it. You're bored because you do the same thing every day. You like to get drunk every day? You like to puke every day? Go ahead. All right, all right but you're, you're tired of it, yet you won't change? I don't know. Nobody, nobody wants to do that stuff. Not every day, maybe once in a while. Not every fucking day, are you insane? Unless you're a partier, like a partier in the party ages, well then that's fine. But I'm gonna tell you what, if you don't open the door to new possibilities, then how the fuck are you supposed to get in that door if it's not open? Are you gonna become a ghost and die and then go through the door? Because then it'll be too late, okay? It's gonna be too late if you're a little ghost, <laughs> okay? Because if you're a little ghost, you're dead, okay? And you don't wanna die before you get that dream life. You wanna be alive, okay? Sometimes you have to scare the shit out of yourself, okay? Sometimes you have to do things like talk to people. That was scary to me, talking to people. Oh yeah, I was afraid, I was a shy kid. But then I grew up. I don't wanna to talk to people in this town because I have my reasons. But I do want to talk to people in the next town. You know, but it's also like, I'm a little bit alone all the time. But I also don't really care because I like to think. <laughs> but it's also like this. If you don't want to be alone, you have to talk to people. That's how it is. I don't really mind right now because I am working towards my future. My future being moving. I want to move. And maybe I'll have a voice acting job or an acting job or something else. My aunt was in movies in Thailand. She had acting gigs. Why can't I do that? She was she was a pedestrian in this one movie. She made like $500 for like a two second shot. Hello. Literally, it's not difficult. All you have to do is talk. Sometimes you annoy people. But that's their problem. That's when you use anger. Now, I mean feeling anger, not showing it. Because when you use anger, you really don't give a fuck what people think. When you use anger, you know, I, I like to be angry sometimes because I feel like I don't give a fuck, you know? Sometimes you should stop being scared and be angry, <laughs> but don't show it. Just feel it. Let it propel you, like in work, in the work industry. If people are angry, they tend to work faster. Using that to your advantage is a thing, okay? And life is good, and you have to open the door to new possibilities if you want your life to change, or else it will never change. And you don't want that. We're almost dead anyway. You know? You want to go have a party in the Bahamas? Figure it out. Get a ticket to the fucking Bahamas. Okay? If you're dead in 80, almost dead in 80, get yourself a fucking credit card. Spend that shit. I'm not joking. They can't tell you, oh, well... Blah, 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 you gotta pay it back. Bitch, I'm almost dead. If you're like sick and 80, you bitch, you better go. 
And you better get that credit card. They can't tell you to pay it back if you're going to die. That's what I would do. I'm just telling you right now. I told my mom. I said, Mom, if you're ever sick and, like, old, like, I just want to let you know, get a credit card and spend all that fucking money. Go to Italy. Go to New York. Go to Paris. I don't know. Because her dream is to go to, um, to Italy. And I love my mom. And I want her to live out her dreams. And I want her to do do it before she gets to that point but it's also like well <laughs> I really just want her to do it like it's not I shouldn't make it my responsibility to have you know someone else's dreams lived out you know that's she's had a long life she's lived for like 60 years okay so she knows that if she wants what she you know she gets what she wants she can manifest it you know but I'm telling you guys it's not your responsibility to make other people's dreams come true. Like, if your parents say, oh, well, you should be a fucking doctor. What are you doing? You want to be an artist? You want to you wanna do fashion? What are you? The Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you want to make pizza for a living in New York? What are you? Pillsbury Doughboy? <laughs> That's how it is. Sometimes people will call you names. And that's when you get angry. But don't show it. You can feel it. Just be like this. <laughs> but like sometimes being angry helps because, you know, you can just feel it and let it flow through you. It's just not too much. Not too much now. But it can, you can use it to your advantage. Just trust me. So everyone, have a good day. I'm not saying be angry all the time or to take it out on people because don't do that. Okay, just please. There's consequences. Just remember to every action. So think about where you want to move. Think about the job opportunities there if that's what you want to be worried about. Think about the environment, what kind of weather they have. Think about it. You could call those jobs up. You have time. Don't act like you don't. You don't work 20 hours a day. You got time. Well, unless you do. Then why are you watching this video? Are you rich? <laughs> well, anyway, everyone have a good day. And I hope I helped you in one way or another. Please watch my other videos. I am here to help you. To elevate you on a spiritual level. I'm like a shaman. I can read signs. If something weird happened to you, I'm going to ask you, what, what were you thinking about? Okay. Well, anyway, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I want to know what you want to manifest. Just t tell me everything. I don't care. Tell me what your daddy's been doing. Tell me what your grandpa did. I don't know. <laughs> just let me know in the comments below. Vent. I don't know. Let it all out. I'm going to tell you what. Everything will be okay. We're going to open the possibilities. The door is open now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.